Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name's Kit and this is my world. Thank you very much for joining me. In this episode, I'll be doing the Unpopular Opinions book tag, originally by The Book Archer. I'll leave a link in the description. So without further ado, and without further ado, let's get cracking. Question number one, a popular book or series that you didn't like. Well, I can think of two without even trying. Um, the first is the Harry Potter series. Everybody loves Harry Potter. Not me. I was never impressed, even in the old days before I knew about the dark nature of its creator. Um, everyone was constantly ranting on about Harry Potter and waving their Harry Potter notebooks and their Harry Potter mugs around and wearing their Harry Potter t-shirts, and it just drove me crazy. I found it very irritating. I was never interested, and when I gave the movies a try, I wasn't that impressed with those either. Um, the other series that sprang immediately to mind of course, was the Twilight series. And full disclosure, I haven't read the books and I've got no intention of reading the books, um, but I don't like them anyway. Um, and the reason for that is because they're stupid, they're stupid. However, I do own all of the films and I've watched them more than once. I'm weird and a hypocrite. Question number two, a popular book or series that everyone else seems to hate, but you love. This one's more difficult uh, because uh, the only thing I can think of isn't really hated by everyone else. It's just they don't seem to know about it. And I bleat on about it constantly. So I'm not going to bore you with any more details other than just the Devery series by Catherine Kerr. I love them. I think they're some of the greatest fantasy books ever written, and they don't have the recognition that they deserve. So they're not hated. They're just obscure. Question number three, a love triangle where the main character ended up with the person you did not want them to end up with. And I'm supposed to warn you about spoilers and so forth. Um, Outlander, I've discussed it before, so I won't go into too much depth, um, but there are a couple of places where the wrong people end up with the wrong people. Um, Claire ends up with Frank for 20 odd years when she should have stayed with Jamie. That's annoying. Um, and also Jamie ends up with Claire when I would have liked him to have ended up with Lord John Grey. But maybe that's just me. Question number four, a popular book genre that you hardly reach for. Well, there are several. Um, sport, I don't do any sport at all. Uh, I don't do any self-help at all. Books wise, I help myself in other ways. Um, and uh, I don't do religion. Um, sport, self-help and religion are all books that I would never reach for. Question number five, a popular or beloved character that you do not like? Well, I'm going to say Harry Potter again. Everybody loves Harry Potter. I think he's kind of wet. Um, and also, I just don't like Harry Potter as a thing, as an in as a universe. I don't like the Harry Potter universe. It irritates me. Um, so Harry Potter as a specific individual character. Same thing with the addition of wetness. Question number six, a popular author that you can't seem to get into. Well, I've answered this one quite recently and it's the same answer. There are two that spring immediately to mind. Uh, one is Brandon Sanderson or Sanderson and the other is She Who Shall Remain Nameless. Question number seven, a popular book trope that you're tired of seeing. Examples, Lost Princess, Corrupt Ruler, Love Triangles, etc. And again, this is a question I've answered before, and I can only give the same answer because it hasn't changed. I like tropes. In general, I'm a fantasy reader. Uh, fantasy is almost entirely made of tropes, and I love most of them. Uh, but if I had to pick one that I find less appealing and that I'm kind of a little bit bored with, um, then it's sorcerers who can just do magic because they need to to further the plot. I prefer a much harder magic system than that. And I need to follow rules. So um, they need to follow rules as well. I don't like sorcerers just to be able to shoot lightning bolts out of their fingertips because they need to. 
Question number eight, a popular series that you have no interest in reading. Well, I'm, you know what, I'm, I've already kind of answered this in this tag and other tags. Um, so I'm going to come up with something different, which I've also mentioned before. Um, but the uh, the Lies of Locke Lamora um, and that series, the, the, the Gentleman Bastards, um, I think that's what it's called. I started Locke Lamora didn't like it, tried very hard, ploughed on and on and on, read most of it, and then eventually DNF'd because I was so sick of it. Uh, it just didn't work for me. Um, and so the rest of that series, even though I'm told by reliable people that it gets better, I have no interest anymore. Question number nine. The saying goes, the book is always better than the movie. But what movie or TV show adaptation do you prefer more than the book? Well, I'm going to have to list a few, I'm afraid. Um, and again, these are answers I've given in previous tags. But that's what happens when you do as many tags as I do. Um, so I apologise if you've heard about this before, but I'm going to say Jaws. Jaws was a terrible, terrible book. Awful, borderline unreadable by Peter, the terrible writer, eventually. <laughs> I apologise. Maybe he wrote one or two good books. I wouldn't know. Jaws was shit. I hated it. However, it's one of the best movies ever made. I love it. I've seen it many, many times and it will always be one of my favourite movies. Um, then, of course, there's Stephen King, who has written books that people worship and adore. And I tend to love movies based on his books. But when I've tried to read his books, I generally find them to be not as good as the movies that were based on them. Um, um, do you know what? I'm going to say Legends of the Fall as well, just moving away from Stephen King. Um, I think the film of Legends of the Fall was infinitely better than the book, because although the book is very lyrical and has all of the sort of bucolic, outdoorsy stuff that I enjoy reading about it, uh, it's so much better actually seeing it with good cinematography and excellent music. Um, and I'm a film buff, so when a film is as well made as Legends of the Fall, you can't really go wrong. So that's it. Nine questions. I was thrown by the lack of a tenth question. Uh, it does say, feel free to add bonus questions. I didn't read ahead, so I'm unprepared. And on that note, I'm going to call it a day. Thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you haven't already, you know what to do. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share, comment, do all the good stuff, and I will see you next time. See you later.